mini ambulances here. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Karen and this is going to be a quick uh, supply haul because uh, my package has finally arrived and uh, I've also gone to... Um, well, it's not an art shop, it's a mostly school supplies shop but I'm still pretty happy with what I bought, so... Here we are. The first one is... Uh, oh, it's upside down. Alright, it's fine. This one is the package from the art site, uh, which uh, if you live in Italy, it's pretty awesome, I think, because it has uh, a lot of competitive prices, uh, uh, particularly in uh, regard to um, watercolor paints. For papers, it's... Uh, well, it's mostly in line with... Uh, Amazon basically so not really that cheap but mm, it's called uh, Mondartista I think it has uh, a base in uh, Bolzano I believe anyway I will write uh, um, the link in the description and uh, go check them out because uh, I think they offer a pretty good service Okay, so this one, I've been looking at it for quite a long time. It's, uh, uh, yeah, watercolor paper, 100% cotton, it's uh, 20 sheets and uh, 30, no, 30, um, I guess, uh, 300 grams, yeah. And uh, it's a brand I've never heard of, so... I would be pretty happy to try it out. Let me... Whoa! Alright. Sorry. This morning I haven't had my coffee, so I'm a little bit... Oh. Spazzy? Okay. Okay. Hello, baby. Let's see if it opens. Yeah, it does. Let's see if you can see the grain. It, uh, well, a touch. It's not. Mm, it looks more like uh, a rough, a cold, uh, not cold press. Sorry, uh, torchon. But. We'll find out, as always, uh, because I've discovered some blocks do not have uh, this little hole to slide the, the, the paper knife in and uh, cut it out, and which is kind of uh, necessary if you want to take the sheet out, but some don't, and I don't know why. Okay, so the second... And third are by my favorite paper maker, Claire Fontaine, and they are travel journals, basically. I have this thing about journals that I buy a lot of them and never start one, so I am hoping to um, to start a new trend by having more, so I am uh, I'm forced to at least start one. Mm. Okay, first thing first, I don't think I like this thing because uh, yeah, if if I'm looking to put uh, the this in my in my bag it's probably going to get dirty so this is one piece of paper I'm not going to use I will need to use the back oh well it looks 
Mm. I don't know, it's not the same texture as the Fontaine and uh, you can you can see the lines of the of the printer. Oh well. We will try it out and then see how that goes. Um, it's 100% cotton, so I'm still expecting good performances. And uh, yeah, not. Okay. There was so much plastic. Okay, the other one, this one is a square instead of a rectangle. And uh, yeah, same problem. Hello, this is me. I was wondering, die. Okay, sorry. And uh, all in all, they feel pretty sturdy. So, and uh, also the uh, the spiral looks quite uh, quite solid. So yeah, maybe the only thing is uh, um, the holes are really really close to the border so well the paper is thick so I'm not worried about it uh, getting torn apart if I like uh, start uh, mm, I don't know use using it more roughly but uh, anyway we will discover okay so this one I've been looking forward for a long time and uh, okay this one is a thing I don't like they gave me the plastic but it doesn't have the cap so what the hell i love my caps i mean all of my brushes still have the cap and this one doesn't but uh, yeah sorry about that my my camera sucks and uh, it like doesn't have autofocus but okay this one is a da vinci casaneo in size 6 i've been carting this this size for like a long time and it's always sold out in uh, the art shop i usually um, i usually go to because uh, um, there is uh, an art course going on in uh, in my city and uh, this one is uh, considered one of mm, well not the starting brush but the one most uh, comfortable for beginners to start with and the one that offers uh, at least cost uh, the um, the best uh, uh, results which i have to say it is uh, because this one costed me hmm, I really don't remember but I spent under under 10 euros for it and uh, it really I really like it because uh, the the bristles are soft well not now because they are still new but they're really soft it can hold a fine point really really well and uh, um, and it's synthetic, so it's uh, it's quite cheaper in comparison to uh, a fur um, a fur brush. And uh, I have uh, uh, seen I haven't yet uh, um, compared them in video. Sorry about that. Um, I have uh, uh, like size four, both synthetic, and uh, I have. Uh, um, I have a Da Vinci Maestro and I also have a Winsor & Newton Series 7 in uh, uh, Kolinsky Sable and uh, most of the time I really prefer going to these guys instead of the others please professional watercolor art artists don't kill me okay you know what I'm doing right now I am taking my brush collection which is something I may or may not share. Okay, I have like too many brushes. And choose a spot for this guy. I may be, uh, okay, what is this? You go here because you have a cap and you go 
there because you don't. Okay. Okay, these ones are video for another time because it's going to take like hours to do it. Okay, and lastly, I've bought uh, um, two Hordam pants because I have uh, three or four of them, the primaries basically, and uh, still I wanted uh, some more of them just to, you know, try them out. Lucas. No, well, these are hard them. So yeah, they probably use uh, um, other other packages to keep the <coughs> sorry to keep the materials safe. Okay, these are going in my palette, but I'm going to unwrap them later. And then we have the. Uh, supply hole. Um, yeah, this one is the name of the uh, of the shop. And uh, this this stuff is mostly basic, really. It's uh, okay. First thing first, my skin. Like everyone has one, and uh, I've never had one. So I have decided that since I have, uh, um, I was a bit of obsessed with journaling, and I never started it because I knew I wouldn't go, um, I wouldn't go through. I would probably leave the the project halfway through. But I thought, hey, I could do a couple of challenges to uh, to like draw more because right now I am drawing um, once or twice a week at least uh, traditionally because digitally it's uh, well it's much easier because I already have the tablet out I only need to you know start up the PC which for me it's always uh, open I can't live without my internet you can ask my flatmate and uh, and yeah, so I've decided I could try and do at least uh, uh, one, uh, well, not page, like uh, front or back, at least once a day. So I have been looking for um, for some challenges in uh, on internet, and uh, I've seen that the one I, I had uh, thought of, uh, it has already been started, but it's mostly a self, uh, like self-made challenge. It's the um, the alphabet challenge. You um, you choose uh, a word for every word of uh, the alphabet and draw that. So I I think I will. Uh, well, let's not give it a twist, but. Uh, Mostly because of this pen. Okay, sorry. Let me finish with this. Okay, so they're not uh, a cold white, and uh, they feel pretty thick. But uh, I'm not sure they would uh, resist to to watercolors. I mean, I have a tendency to like uh, use water either too much or too little and uh, if it's too little it's fine but if I wanted to do something that looked like uh, pasta colored I would need to add more water and uh, I'm not sure this would uh, withstand it but uh, hey we can try it out okay so this one is is good and um, yeah the new take on the alphabet challenge is mostly going to be because of this pen. It's a pilot lettering pen, which is like uh, I like the color first thing first, and then I saw that it was actually a nice, uh, well, alternative to fountain pens. It's 
<clears throat> yeah, thank you Autofocus for working against me. Oh god. Yeah, so really really sorry about that. Anyway, you can see it's it's basically the uh, same. Uh, wait, let me try this on. Uh, what's this? A bill. Yeah, will work anyway. Okay. I've never done lettering before. Yeah, the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, you get the idea. And um, it didn't cost much, which is uh, uh, a reason why I bought it. It was for three euros and a half. Anyway, I know that fountain pens are like forever and they're cult, and uh, okay, I can agree with that. I loved my fountain pen when I had one. But um, starting right now, when I'm just starting with watercolors, it's uh, it's money investment. I really don't have the funds to make. So since I want, still wanted to try to try out the feeling of uh, of lettering and uh, maybe do some elegant calligraphy. This one is still a pretty good alternative. This is uh, the biggest one they had. It's uh, size uh, 30. They also had uh, 10 and 20. But I tried them out and uh, this one is uh, is the one closer to what I wanted to, to buy. Then I bought this one is the smallest they had. It's uh, like the pen everyone has but me like the Moleskin and uh, yeah a simple sim pigma micron the sakura and uh, yeah mostly because I didn't have um I didn't have a thin uh, well no I did have it but I finished it so I am going to try this one out uh, when my old pen still has some ink in it to decide if I want to stay with the Echo Pigma which is, uh, wait I have it here uh, where are you? okay this one is a size uh, 0 2 but it's basically the same thing uh, both, per both permanent, both light fast and uh, yeah only I've used this for about uh, I was 16 so it has been 12 years and they've always been the same ones and uh, which means I haven't drawn anything <laughs> forever but uh, no they are they're pretty good and uh, yeah so we will try it out and these are colored pens because I have this tendency of only drawing in uh, like black everything is black for me and uh, yeah no comments about that so these pens I will try to you know Well, my ugliest drawing ever made. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> there you go. So, well, I wanted to try to try this one out. They are Stabilo and uh, I believe they are not... Uh, I believe they are not uh, water resistant. So, we will see how they hold up against watercolor. And uh, that's it. That's the supply haul. Thank you so much for joining me. I will 
record the start of the alphabet challenge as soon as I find the time for it which basically means that uh, this beautiful notebook will remain blank no <laughs> okay sorry I'm really going to try to do an effort to uh, to do it but uh, yeah we'll see how it goes wish me luck bye